Conor McGregor is currently in negotiations with the UFC about a fight which would see him return to MMA following his foray into the world of professional boxing back in August. Next week marks a full year since we have seen McGregor fight in the UFC when he dismantled Eddie Alvarez at UFC 205 in Madison Square Garden to be crowned the first man ever to hold two belts from different weight classes simultaneously. The champ champ stated in the immediate aftermath of that historic bout that he would be taking a hiatus from fighting while his girlfriend went through the process of giving birth to their baby son. Upon his return to action, it was the boxing ring rather than the octagon for a crack at the undefeated master technician Floyd Mayweather in August. Although the venture ultimately proved unsuccessful with regards to the result on the night, Connor's star and stock have only continued to rise meteorically. This is something that the Irishman knows full well and intends to capitalize on moving forward. He has stated that he is working out a deal with the UFC brass for a 155 pounds title unification bout with Tony Ferguson, but also that he seeks to be a cop promoter with the UFC for said event, similar to the Mayweather fight. This would be an unprecedented step for the UFC to take. It has never been done before, but as company president Dana White has explained this past week, if there is anyone that is worth breaking the mold for, it is Conor McGregor. Listen to Brendan Schaub explain brilliantly on his podcast with Brian Callen, the fighter and the kid, how McGregor is in such a comfortable position that he is more than entitled to demand more money, shares in the company and cup promotion of events, much akin to where heavyweight champion of the world Anthony Joshua stands in the boxing world.